Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot, a man with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Now this morning, I'm starting this video on a very narrow bridge. As you can see, it's only wide enough for one vehicle at a time. And this bridge crosses a river we've seen before. That there, that's the River Air. And this bridge is right at the top of a village that contains a few things of interest. And the first thing you might be able to see down there is a lock. We're gonna be walking across to that in a bit. But first, let's go and explore what the parish of Beale has got to offer. Para 
Okay, so at the top of Ings Lane, it's mainly um, residential, a lot of new build houses. Uh, so we've got Village Farm Close and Village Farm Court up there. Uh, so there's no way through from one to the other. So I've got to go back down Ings Lane now, and now we're heading towards Hollygarth Lane. Right, from what I can see up Manor Road over there, there's a couple of farms and there's a business by the name of Gordon's Transport, which I believe is a haulage firm. Um, certainly that's what Google Maps tells me. I'll do a little bit of research into uh, the farms and the, uh, and the haulage firm up there. And if there's anything that's worth mentioning, I'll put it in the video at this point. But I'm not walking up there. I'm now walking along Main Street. I'm heading for the Jenny Wren and then I can take a little shortcut back to where we began on the bridge over the River Air. Okay, I was literally a few paces away from the car and the weather started to turn. As you can see, it's now raining outside and I'm a little bit wet, but I managed to get to the car just in time. 
Okay, we're nearly finished with this video. I just need to film one more thing, really. So I'm gonna wait for this rainstorm to pass, and then we're gonna go down to the little village of Kellingley. So it's not that long ago, and, in, and even if you look on Google Maps, this wall here uh, said Kellingly Colliery on it, uh, but it's clearly been taken away now because the site is uh, clearly to let uh, for use for something else. So let's go and have a look at uh, some of the uh, colliery that remains, shall we? Alright, I think that's just about going to do it for the parish of Beale. Lovely little place. I think the only thing that uh, sort of spoiled this video was the short, sharp rain shower that came across at one point, but uh, that's thankfully gone now and it's dried up. Uh, but the rain uh, has affected um, this part of the video actually because, as you can see on this playing field, there's a bank which runs around the edge of it. And I think if you stand on that bank, you'll be able to see some of the remains of the colliery, but because it's been raining, um, it's uh, quite greasy and that bank's quite steep so I'm not going to risk breaking any limbs uh, just to get a couple of shots of the colliery um, I think I'm happy with what I got to be honest so yeah that's the parish of Beale lovely little village very well maintained by the parish council um, lots to see the uh, the river and the lock for two things that are quite nice to see and then we've got some old buildings 
and it's just a general love generally a lovely place um, and one of the villages that I've enjoyed doing within Selby so far I don't know when I'm going to be next in Selby but when I am there'll be another one of these videos coming out very soon so I've been the village idiot and this has been the parish of Beale and I am out right a little bit of additional as I was just about to leave this park I discovered a shallow path um, a one that wasn't uh, as steep as the actual bank itself and I'm actually on the on the bank now so I've, I've been able to get up, up here and uh, take a couple of shots of the colliery that's basically what remains of it there's not much left there now still a, a large heap of something over there I don't think I don't, I don't think it's coal because it doesn't look like coal but it could be and it's just basically a load of industrial uh, bits and bobs now. So yeah, I'm glad I got up here actually, um, safely, thankfully. So that's Kellingley Colliery. <laughs>